Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates. Now, I think what is written there is so help me God. Wearing in of former high court judges, but now justices of the Court of Appeal, we have subscribed to the oath of allegiance and uh, the oath of office. Now, if you remember that it is a solemn pledge and a commitment to good conduct in the course of your judicial functions, especially as senior judicial officers in the appellate court. We are not here for long speeches, but simply to realign our minds with what is expected of you at this very high and enviable level of adjudication. Many high-profile cases will definitely come to you on appeal. And they may likely come in company of, of some juicy, irresistible temptations, but I am making it bold and clear that you must flee from such a disguised danger. Your reputation and integrity matter much and count enormously in your rise to honor and fame in life. Permit me to point out unambiguously that a life gives and wealth that are not worked out or not worked for, which are by extension undeserving 
are always wrapped in calamity and destruction. Flee from them and keep your heads high above the murky waters of corruption so that you can conveniently be counted among the very best in the Nigerian judiciary. You must, against all odds, conduct your affairs within the ambit of the law and the oath that has just been administered on you. If you are hitherto 50% under public scrutiny, I assure you now that it has risen to 100% by virtue of this elevation to the Court of Appeal. Well, I started off at the High Court and I put in my very best. I believe that I will continue with that tradition and that commitment that I have to the judiciary. I'll always put in my best. May God help me. Can you tell us why you are here? Well, I'm here because uh, uh, a lot of people are elevated, a lot of judges, a lot of lawyers are going to, uh, are being elevated to the Court of Appeal of Nigeria. So as a lawyer, as a governor, I'm very happy because among all of them is also one of my own from Plateau State, my judge from Plateau State, who is also successfully uh, elevated from the High Court of Plateau State to also the Court of Appeal. Well, we are moving to, into a new trend, and you know arbitration is the is a, is a vogue now, arbitration. And so if we have a lot of arbitration, even lawyers, I know I was a practicing lawyer. Lawyers don't want litigation themselves, but they prefer to settle cases out of court. And the best way to settle cases is the one that we settle through arbitration than even litigation. So what he's saying is the right thing. You must not go to court, but at least when you explore the opportunities for arbitration, you are also reducing the stress on the judges. So, for me, that's what will happen. And uh, as you mentioned, the issue of uh, uh, political litigation, that one, you can't reduce it. You, you cannot reduce it. It's a matter of interest. People like to ventilate their grievances, and the only opportunity to ventilate their grievances is when you exhaust the opportunity at the courts. Uh, this is a good thing to see, but I personally believe that we need more justices in all the courts, in all the appellate courts, the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court even, and also more judges at the, all the high courts across this country. The judiciary is the cornerstone, is the backbone of our democracy. And we are aware of the challenges they are facing, including the challenge of manpower of remuneration, of computerization, etc., etc. But this is a right step, and I believe at the end of the reforms, constitutional reforms, which will encompass judicial justice sector reforms, I believe that we will have a, a better judiciary, more prepared, more enabled to defend and protect the democracy and our country. Thank you very much. God bless you.